our fuzzy buzzy. My car, little chump. got like lonesome without you. Yeah. What's been going on, huh? What? Oh, yeah? You know, I like being with you. I mean, you make me feel like right at home. Like you were my family, like. <coughs> hey, maybe you are. Did you ever study evolution in school? Oh, no. Chimps don't go to school, do they? Yeah. Lucky dogs. Hey, that's funny what I said. Lucky dogs. Because you ain't a dog, you're a monkey. No offense. <laughs> Well, where was I? Uh, oh, yeah, evolution. Well, in high school, which I got out of six weeks ago, which I got into six years ago, <laughs> anyhow, in high school, I learned all about evolution. Very interesting jazz. You see, men and monkeys all have the same ancestor. Darwin, I think he is. <laughs> he believed in the survival of the fattest. <laughs> fittest, yeah, fittest. <laughs> well, in evolution, I learned all about how the species developed. You know, like elephants and... Tigers and people and goonie birds. You see, the lowest form of life is the one cell. And, of course, if you've ever been in jail, you know how low that is. <laughs> Anyhow, um, about this evolution jazz. Uh, you and I are kind of like, uh, alike, only we're different, too. For instance, you got hair all over your body, and all I got is hair here in my chin. Of course, if my beard grow long enough, I'd have hair all over my body, too, but we'd still be different. I mean... I'm superior to you. No offense. I mean, let's take the things you can do and the things I can do. Uh, what can you do? Well, let's see, you can climb trees and peel a banana and turn somersaults and uh, ride a bicycle, simple things like that. Now, me on the other hand, well, come to think of it, uh, I don't climb trees too good. And I do have a lot of trouble peeling bananas. I usually have to get Dobie to help me. And if you want to know the real truth, I ain't the greatest at turning somersaults. But I do know how to ride a bicycle. Well, it's not a bicycle exactly. It's um, more like a tricycle. <laughs> I wonder why they keep telling me I'm superior to you. <laughs> well, it says so in the book, so it must be true. On this planet, anyhow, and... Um, but where you're going, Fuzzy Buddy, things might be different. I mean, on the moon and Mars and all like that, uh, maybe you'll be superior. I mean, if all them outer space cats got, like, Six eyes and eight legs and green and purple spots, like I saw in the movie, The Monsters Devoured Cleveland. You gotta be superior. Boy, I hope you don't want to tell them cats with uh, six eyes and, and eight legs and green and purple spots. Man, it gives me goosebumps just thinking about it. I wonder how come we want to go up into space anyhow. I mean, all that money getting spent and all them scientific brains thinking and all them engineers engineering, all that work just to go up there and see cats with six eyes, eight legs, and green and purple spots. I mean, what good does it do? If we took all that money and put it to work right here on Earth, we'd be a lot better off than flying around in space, I bet you. Gee, think of the good things we could do. Like curing the common cold and getting high fi sets for everybody in the whole world. Man, what a swinging pilot we'd have. Ooh, yeah. Everybody dancing and nobody sneezing. <laughs> You can have it, Fuzzy Buddy. If there's one thing I am, it's glad that I ain't gonna go whooshing out into space. No, sir. Not me, Maynard G. Krebs. No, sir. Never, never, never. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs>